I am Natasha Toro and I am playing the part of Haley. The most difficult situation I've been put in as Haley would have to be the coffin scene. We were doing that scene for what, four hours and I was in there because in order for me to get out and get back in, it would just take up more time. So it was a little stressful, but it actually was very helpful in getting freaked out by the fact that she was trapped in a coffin and being buried alive. I'm L. Frost and I play Frost. And I'm City Spud, and I play City. The characters' relationships are, he's the leader, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm the soldier, I'm following the lead. Hi, my name is Aloha Michelle, and I play Lo. She comes off as such a hard core girl, and I think as the story will unfold, maybe her layers will come back a little bit more, and maybe we'll start to see how she became like such a killer. I would like to know where Haley's character is going to go now, but Pascal won't tell me. I hope that she goes in a, in a stronger direction where she kind of takes charge at some point. I think that Frost is going to end up getting his hands a little more dirty. You know, he, uh, he always seems to be the, the cleanup guy. Working with Pascal is cool because he is super passionate about what he does and it helps you invest into your character and in the scene. I think Pascal's a great director and writer, and I think he keeps you on your toes. Watching Pascal direct and act is some real tough stuff. I asked him several times what's his zodiac sign. I didn't know if he was a Scorpio, Gemini. If he was a Gemini, it makes sense, the multiple personality thing, you know, because I mean, one minute he's behind the camera, and then he's over here talking to some, and I'm like, what is going on here? Why don't you just? I think it's because he's an artist too, it's easy for him to be on the other side of the camera and be in the front of the camera. Uh, my name is Pascal Bobuff. I play the character Pascal. I'm also the creator of the show. Missing is about a guy trying to get his girlfriend back. And it's also just kind of the story of like his relationship with his girl. And basically you get kind of tiny pieces of the puzzle. You know, not everything is completely explained. You kind of have to piece things together. You know, lots of parts are missing. Honestly, what's so great about this show is that the people that I'm working with are really, really laid back and really fun to work with and they are willing to go that extra mile or, or put themselves in a, in a situation that they don't think that it ever put themselves emotionally in. Where the show could go in the next half, like, <laughs> If the show could go anywhere. No one's safe in this situation. Like, wherever you thought or whatever you thought about a character, I wouldn't bank on that too much. It's gonna get crazy and people are gonna come out of the woodworks that you didn't expect were gonna be doing things and I'm super excited to see who people turn out to be. It's gonna get freaking nuts. Things are getting crazy. Be on the lookout for it. Missing. I know something you don't know, but that's what gets you guys coming back, right?